Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are having a great day. In my last video, I showed you how I prepare my shoes for eBay pictures, and this time I'm going to show you how I take my pictures and how I edit them. So here is what my lighting setup looks like whenever I take pictures of shoes or smaller items that I sell on eBay. As you can see there's three clamp lamps. You got one on the left, one on the right, and one on top that's actually clamped to the lamp that's on the left. And then it kind of just rests on top there. But it's just a box with holes in the walls. There's three holes. There's a hole right here on top, a hole here on the left, and a hole here on the right. And then I just put on the outside, or sorry, on the inside, I have some white paper. I think I used freezer paper. And uh, that will help to diffuse the light that's coming in so that you don't have hard shadows. And down the middle, I just have some more paper that's hung up on top and kind of laid down so that you have a smooth background. So there's my lighting setup. Okay guys, you saw my lighting setup, and now I'm going to show you what I do with the photos and how I edit them. Uh, it's really simple, I just do it in the eBay uh, photo editing tool. Um, it's really simple, and let me just show you real quick. So first thing I do is I always crop it, and I do this to nearly every single photo, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so it's going to crop here, and then I edit the brightness and contrast. This part is going to make the background white and not gray like it looks. Um, so I'll show you how to turn up the brightness here. And you can see how like it's black, and yet the shoe is just starting to get a little, well, it's a lot whiter. And you want to kind of push it to the edge there. You don't want it to be too much like this, but you know, just enough to where it's just a little too much and that's perfect because you're going to come in with the contrast here and take that away so this is essentially making the background white and taking away some shadow as well so we'll go ahead and apply that and you can see there's just there's no other distractions going on it's just the shoe they can focus on the shoe and you know that's it there's nothing else going on there We'll do this. I do this, like I said, I do this to all all the images so that they can see every uh, angle of the shoe. And this is pretty much what all, all of my listings look like with the angles. I'll start with one shoe, either the right shoe or the left shoe, and I kind of angle it like this, and then like this on the other side of the shoe, and then I get the other shoe and I do the exact same thing. It's kind of time consuming, I know, but I feel that having better photos in my listings uh, makes the sale. Okay, so after I do each side of the shoe, I get just a front shot of both of them. Uh, sometimes I'll get a close-up of the toes if there's like... Uh, a few scrapes or um, scuffs, you know, I'll get more of a close-up, but this will do just fine on these. They looked really good. So another part of the shoe that's um, important to show is the heels. A lot of time you see a lot of wear here, and you want to show that in your listing. Um, these look really good uh, for for pre-owned shoes. So I know this is kind of time-consuming, and some people probably wouldn't do this, but. Okay. So that 
that's how I end up with crisp, clear photos. They always look really good. And that's how you do it. Uh, you got a nice white background. I mean, you can't even tell where the picture starts and the white screen ends. I mean, it looks really good. The shadow has gone down because it was a little bit of a heavier shadow. Um, but it helps to control that. And you can you can see the shoe really well. So that's how I take my, sh my um, pictures and how I edit them to... To list on eBay, I feel like it helps my listings look really good and stand out in uh, in front of the rest. Uh, if not, it really helps to make the sale too. You know, it's it's definitely going to help a lot better. Someone might have the same shoe listed for you know five bucks less or ten bucks less, but if they also see this one and they see more, the picture is a lot more clear, and they get, have a better understanding of what they're going to get. They, you know, they might buy my shoes. I feel like I price mine on the higher end of the spectrum and get it a lot of the time. I know I do post OBO all the time or best offer, and I accept offers that are a little bit lower than what I uh, price, but at the same time, I know that I price mine a little high. I could probably move shoes a little bit quicker if I price them low. And I might try that in the future, but for now, this is working out for me. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm going to put some links in the description below. Uh, two of them are going to be to Facebook groups, and the third is going to be to my fan page. The Facebook groups are Online Sellers Unite and Sellers Helping Sellers on eBay and Amazon. My fan page is just going to be a place where I share a little bit more content than what I usually would. It's a little bit quicker for me to spread some information and we can interact as well. So check out those pages, and thanks a lot, guys.